Anyways, thanks for bearing with me for the, through that. Ran a little bit over, but you know, obviously you can see how it's important to, at the end of the day, say the viruses and the packers and things like that, they manipulate these P header data structures, they manipulate ELF data structures. There's enough similarity between P and ELF and Mako and all of the binary formats that once someone knows how the binary format works, they can just apply these same techniques of, you know, I'm gonna tack myself on the end and point the headers to me, and then I'll fix up whatever miscellaneous I have to fix up. I can, you know, compress this thing down or make sure I allocate enough space to decompress into memory, things like that. So um, back over to, I guess, video back onto me. And at this point, I believe, I mean, I have some miscellaneous, lots of, you know, more references you can read about different, you know, you know, Macs are immune to viruses. You know, you can just do the exact same thing on Mako files that you can do on ELF files that you can do on anything else. Right. So a bunch of other things that you can go read to learn more about different particular instances of viruses beyond this. You can go and read the source code and understand it a little better. And there's the Packers and I believe that's pretty much it. Uh, this is just sort of an older distribution of Packers, more reading about Packers. And we don't have enough time for that. Anyone who wants to stay later, we can talk about additional topics. We can play some more game things. but. Uh, does anyone have any questions about the material before we uh, officially say it's over for the day and we just go to miscellaneous stuff that anyone wants to do afterwards? All right, so one last thing I'll say. If you want to see games that nerds play, people have, uh, they try to create the smallest possible P file, X, L file, Mako file that still runs and like returns, you know, a value, returns 42 or something like that. This involves even crazier manipulation of headers than malicious code does. This has to do with like, you're putting code in, you're using the MZ as instructions and then you're like jumping through that in order to have extra code and stuff. So I'd say you now have plenty of knowledge that you should be able to parse these sort of things like, okay, they, they build up, they say, hello world takes 400 bytes. Well, let's see if we can do a little better. Let's strip out this information. Okay, now it's this many bytes. Let's strip out this information. Let's overlap this information so that the imports table overlaps with the, uh, you know, whatever table. And so you should be able to, uh, you should be able to read and understand these sort of things now and understand the implications of what it means when they're doing crazy tricks with the executable formats to make it as small as possible in order to still execute code. But that's just a miscellaneous one. All right, any last questions from in, in the room? All right, dismissed for the day. Anyone who wants to stay and play games and find bugs and ask questions, you can. That's right. Woo! Yeah, me!